Hey guys, this is Saptashi here. In today's video tutorial, we are going to answer a very simple yet very important question. That if you have a set of algorithms A, B, C and D, how do you say that which one is better for the task at your hand? Okay, so the question might uh, seem very simple. So you'll understand why it is complicated in a little while. And then we will also find the answer through a hands-on hosted in a Jupyter uh, notebook in the Kaggle environment. So this will be available as a public notebook available in the video description. You can run, change, uh, suit for your particular case and get your results. Okay. So you need a library for this Penguin which we have installed here. And then we are going to import our normal libraries, pandas, uh, then Skype P for stats and this just install libraries penguin now we've already prepared uh, the set right so uh, let me run this and when i will show you the data set you will understand what do i mean by that the data set is already set up so let's just run head and see how this looks like okay so you know you see that actually each row has one data set and this is a proposed algorithm and these are three competitive algorithms maybe name based decision true and SGN. okay so your question is as i said that is my proposed algorithm better than all these three algorithms so one of the uh, simple arguments can be that i can find the mean right so i can simply find the mean of all these methods like this so you know x is equal to zero gives us the mean of the columns and x is equal to one gives us mean of the rows and you see that proposed has a average classification accuracy of 72.84 followed by 70.4 70.55 70 70.4 so you might be very tempted and say yes my proposed algorithm is better but if you are doing it in a you know a journal setting or an uh, article setting okay so people who are reviewed reviewing your work they will ask you that okay there is a difference we can see but is the difference statistically significant okay so uh, to satisfy them maybe you can resort to a visualization so let's take a box plot and and plot the accuracy of each one of these methods okay so when we plot them we still see that the mean of this method is indeed you know uh, indeed little higher so you know box plot this is the mean right so the mean is indeed you know uh, above the other methods and variance is comparable okay but still statisticians or reviewers will not be satisfied okay so let's see how we can form the hypothesis testing from here so your null hypothesis you said is that there is no difference between the mean accuracy so you know uh, first we are going to do a pairwise testing so we are just going to compare two algorithms so we are assuming that there is no difference or the difference even if it is there it is not statistically significant okay so that is your null hypothesis there is no difference and alternative hypothesis is the difference is significant so what we'll do is we'll do it we'll run a t test okay and as the classifiers are run on the same set of data sets you call this t test as a related t test or paired t test okay so if they were run on you know different uh, set of data sets these two algorithms then you call it as an independent test okay and then like all hypothesis testing you find p value which is nothing but probability of the data given the null, null hypothesis so smaller the p value you are more confident that the null hypothesis is false that means that the difference in the mean accuracy is actually there okay and so you want your p-value to be as small as possible. However, there is a significance level for the test, which is often set as 0 0.05 or 0 0.01. Okay. So these are, you know, allowable, allowable level of p-value. So I can simply use this stats library and this t-test rel, rel means related. And we are just testing the first two algorithms, the proposed with the next algorithm. So let me run this. And if you see, it is giving me a statistic of 3.15 and a p-value of 0 0.03. So even if you don't worry about this t-value, this p-value tells me that this is a very, very small value. So that means the probability of 
no difference given the result that we have got is very very small right so we'll reject the null hypothesis so this way you can actually set up your statistical test and show that your algorithm is statistically significant okay so t test can be applied only when we are doing a pairwise comparison okay for a more involved test what you can do is that you can do for a if you can go for a f test okay so what f test does firstly it allows you to compare mean of more than two groups right so null hypothesis is that there is no difference in the pairwise means okay so if you have a b c so a b is not different b c is not different c a is not different and alternative hypothesis is that there is at least one pair whose mean difference is statistically significant so for that you use a f test now f statistics is actually a ratio so where you try to find out that you know whether uh the ratio of your inter group variance and the within group variance is high or not okay so if f value is high that means that between the group your variance is high so if that value goes up like for p value you know your probability of uh, rejecting the null will also go up okay all right so here also the test is very simple so this is also as you are doing it on the same set of data sets so this you call it as a uh, repeated method anova okay which is uh, signified as rm anova and here what we can do is we can run this on the entire uh, uh, results at the same time okay and here it gives you some values so important values are this f value and this p value so you see again p value is very very small so you can conclude the difference that you are getting is definitely statistically significant have a piece note that this f test or anova actually doesn't tell you that which one is uh, different so for that it is recommended you can run your pair pairwise t test okay so i hope you understood that how you can now satisfy anyone with a statist solid statistical testing that your algorithm is definitely doing better Thanks so much for watching guys you know if you have found it helpful please like and subscribe thank you once again